Look what I found just now here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, left over from this morning's IPO. It's a Tencent Music Entertainment Division flag, which I'm now waving in honor of the company, which has only just arrived here in New York. The story of Tencent Music is that they wanted to do this IPO back in October, but they postponed it because of the tech wreck that was going on in October and November. So it happened today, December the 12th, here in New York. It was a risk. Stock could have gone down as well as up because these are not IPO friendly times, as you know. The Wall Street Journal late on Tuesday told us that the share price would be $13. Goldman Sachs, which was handling the IPO, dithered for about two hours this morning before they finally decided on $14.05. When the stock began trading, it was $14.10 and it shot up immediately by about 10%. A lot of relief all round, I think it is fair to say. Now, Tencent Music Entertainment is the third largest Chinese IPO here in New York this year. Of course, they have three platforms and the We Sing app. And as a result of this IPO, they now have more than a billion dollars in the bank to spend wisely and to invest as they see fit. They also have a much higher global profile than ever they did before. And they are now a serious rival to Spotify, which classically came to this market in New York earlier this year. And on its first day, its shares were down by about 10 percent. Also, interestingly, Spotify has lost about $400 million over the same period that Tencent Music Entertainment Division has actually made around the same amount of money. What happened at the end of the Wednesday session? Well, it was a strong day for Tencent Music, the share closing up in the end around 7 or 8%. John Terrence, CGTN, on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange.